Hello everyone, this is CypherDeck, and today we're back in Minions of Mirth, and we're going to be taking on uh, Rothario, I think is actually how his name is, the Plague Bringer, and we're going to go ahead and um, see if we can take him. Now, I've leveled up since the last time we've uh, talked, I think my warrior is level 27, um, with his secondary being level 21, and his third class being level... Um, 12, if I remember correctly. And, um, that's pretty much for everybody else. I think they're all one level below him. But we're going to be taking on this guy. And I wanted to, um, I wanted to see if I could take him before I actually started recording. And he absolutely destroyed me. So that's why I went ahead and continued leveling. I uh, went elsewhere, went to the desert to kill goblins. Went to Hezroth Keep to kill um, the guy that drops the Hand of the Master, I think is what it's called. It's for the monk um, to give him a better piece of equipment. Also was able to kill the Were Rat, which gave me two very nice pieces. And um, just been killing everything I can to get to the point where we'd be able to finally be able to take on Rontario. Now, I don't know if this guy is just overpowered or what's going on, but you'll see during the fight that I was struggling to keep my guys alive. There's a second clip I'm going to probably show where my monk is just, he is pulling aggro off my tank for some reason. So I'm having to do uh, group heals uh, and then uh, having to go back to targeted heals just because of the fact that we're trying to wait for my warrior to get aggro again. But we're going to go ahead and get into the fight and hopefully you guys enjoy. This is going to be uh, fun. <laughs> Let's not stall anymore. This is going to hurt as much as um, it. Okay. So get as far away as I can. He's going to spawn right on me. I need to make sure that my warrior is attacking him ASAP. Go ahead and get aggro. Um, go ahead and get him targeting him. And we're going to go ahead and start healing. And we're going to get our defenses up. Wow. It's going to go ahead and start healing. And definitely going to start healing again. Get my heal up. Okay. Heals are good. We're doing good as far as that goes. Let's go ahead and continue on. We're going to go ahead and get this guy's abilities up. Uh, get another heal on him. There we go. Okay, once he gets down to a point of just keeping track of health, um, we're going to go ahead and do a small heal real quick. Um, we're going to go ahead and do this. Okay, and we need to speed up the healing again. Oh, jeez. Just, just get all the heals in there. This is like chain healing on, on maximum. Oh, jeez. Um, that's available. Just keep the heals going. Um, if I had an ability pop up, I would do it, but I cannot do any abilities right now. Um, I mean, if this guy wasn't so high, um, so hard to kill, um, I would probably go ahead and just start throwing on some, um, spells from my, from my wizard. Oh my goodness. Why am I doing that? Don't do that. Heal. And heal. And heal. <laughs> um, should have a chain of heals just hitting them one after another. Good, he can grab aggro again just in case. And you're not healing. Let's go ahead and throw on that heal. This is, this is probably the weirdest randomest talking that I've, I've ever done because I'm just trying to get this guy to die. <laughs> um, is he even targeting? 
No, he's not. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this guy. And I'm gonna have him target Ronta. Is he over? Oh, did he? There we go. Gonna go ahead and throw up defensive. Gonna go ahead and get ready for that. And we're gonna start throwing down the big ones. Gonna go ahead and get him. This is crazy. Um, so my wizard didn't die. That's fantastic. Um, get those heals. I think I need to just get him back on healing. Our man is, his man is barely even hurt while this guy, <laughs> while my clerk is just hurting over here. Jeez, and this is only one of six. I have to kill this guy six more times. He must have the breastplate on. That's the only thing I can think of. Oh, no, 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 don't, don't, don't cast that. Cast that. Cast this. We're going to go ahead and just pay. Come on, man. Die. Let's get this. Oh, my goodness. We just did 600 damage to him. Oh, my goodness. That took forever to kill him. Okay. Let's see what he has. First off. Um, Kuvija was the one who killed him, so he's gonna get the first eye. That's the gazelle, no, that and uh, no. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at those items. So, the first thing is he got the eye. This is a necklace, it's amazing. I uh, wish it had hit points on it. Oh, it does have health does have health so we're definitely going to use that and I think this sword was supposed to be an amazing yeah <laughs> we're going to put this in our offhand uh, just because it has so much stats okay recommended party levels 20 which I am an 8% penalty for some reason he's like level 26 uh, why can't he wear it? Can he? Oh, it's only a primary weapon? Yep, primary slot only. That kind of sucks. Uh, but I'm going to do it anyway. I need the stats. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and try Ronto again. And get him targeted. Get rescue on him. Get all of our defenses. And I'm just going to get aggro as best as I can. Looks like I'm going to need to go ahead and start doing group heals. Because there's more than just the tank taking damage right now. Okay, so that should have got everybody checking, making sure nobody else is getting hit. I'm gonna go ahead and do moderate heals now. And we'll do AoE heals with him so that he can act, uh, add on to the damage. Get the heals. Oh, uh oh. Looks like the monk is actually taking damage. They've died several times because of that. And I have, again, I don't know if it's just because they're that good. Um, but we're going to go ahead and get the cleric on him uh, until uh, our other guy can take over the aggro. Or unless I have to just start taking on uh, defensive and offensive abilities with this guy. I mean, I don't mind that as long as we're keeping heals going. Oh jeez, he went. He's he's taking. Uh, get get. There we go. Kind of saved. Kind of saved. Get a uh, get moderates. Get smalls. Get moderate. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and just. We're gonna overheal. We're gonna overheal right now just because of the fact that we can. And his rescue is back up. Okay. We're gonna do some skull duggery. Actually, we have it pretty well under control now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and move back to Kuvija. Start healing him. And that means I can bring out this guy to throw down some damage. Go ahead and get defenses up. Go ahead and get the heals. Just keep healing. I'm not even looking at what's going on over here, but... I can tell he's hitting me pretty hard, but luckily he's not aggroing on onto our uh, wizard because that would be bad. Uh, but I am going to go ahead and start doing the heals uh, for the whole group. That way, he, in case he does get aggro, hey, throw on our aggressives. 
Skullduggery again. And we kill. Oh my goodness, look how close that was. Let's go ahead and get our heals on. And big money, give me the breastplate. <laughs> oh yes! <laughs> Got the breastplate. Okay. This is the breastplate. It's 20 AC, uh, 25 dex, 25 strength. It's plate or heavy, I think it is. Just an amazing 150 health. That's the kind of stuff we need on our tank. Okay, so we've killed our Thoreau, got his eye, got his head, and we're ready to turn it into Vagan. And uh, let's see what he says. Freckham, wave after wave of Artharo's troops kept attacking, only to be destroyed by Trent's guards, who were protected by Oxus' magic. Finally, Artharo uh, himself strode to the front gate. With eyes blazing, Artharo attacked Oxu. The battle lasted for two hours, and finally, when the dust and smoke cleared, Artharo was but a smoldering corpse. Yet his soul held on. Oxu, however, was barely clinging to life, and with his final breath, he banished Artharo's soul forever, or so it would seem. I did not know how powerful Artharo truly was. Yes, the Artharo you faced was only a portion of himself. I fear this isn't the last we hear of Artharo. Take his eye to Fedra the Herbalist and find out what she sees in it. Okay, so it looks like we got um, an update on the quest. We lost Artharo's head and we got a um, Green Blade family heirloom and 15 presents. So, yeah, let's go ahead and complete this with everybody and then we're going to go ahead and head over to Fedra. So, um, I'll see you over there. Okay, so here we are at Fedra, the Herbalist, and we're going to go ahead and do the turn-in, and she says, How did you get your hands on this? I never imagined I would get to hold Arthuro's eye in my hand. It is much more delicate than I imagined. I see in it a mountain and a dwarf, but the image is quite cloudy. If you would locate some items for me, perhaps... I could get a better look. So what she's going to have us do now is head over to the desert and kill Scorpicus for their blood. And then uh, we got to go to Tarlem Hills to get um, kill stalkers for purified chamomile, I believe is what it is. So that is what we're going to do. Not next time. <laughs> We're going to actually start working on our class-specific quest, which I should have started doing at level 16, but I was so hard set to get Artharyo dead in this episode, so we're going to start working on those next time, try to get them all done. It's going to take some time. Again, it just takes time in this game to get things done. But we'll go ahead and take out those mobs that we need. So next time, quests! Woo! Other than this one, and then, um, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this is Cypher Deck. Peace out. Mm -hmm.